what do you think AI is and does? It's artificial intelligence, but as a philosopher, I would not say it's intelligence. Something to do with machines and intelligence. Artificial intelligence, mostly algorithms. Certain robots can do certain operations instead of the human being. Artificial intelligence would be having a robot, a vacuum cleaner. Generally, I would just say computing, things made by computers. I mean, it's crazy how much is being implemented. Pretty much more than most people realize, I think. More than I realize, probably. It's everywhere. If you search Google, it uses uh, artificial intelligence uh, and it keeps improving its performance. It's in your pocket, it's on your phone, and it's uh, also used in industry, for example, in retail, in uh, order picking and sorting products together with robot hands. AI is about making machines intelligent. Historically, it is machines whose actions can be expected to achieve their objectives. We're increasingly changing that to machines whose actions can be expected to achieve our objectives. One day the AIs are gonna look back on us the same way we look at fossils. There's a lot of hype that comes with both robotics and AI. It's lots of fun to work in the domain, but it's not nearly where the movies portray it. So, you know, people are a little disappointed, you know, why is that robot slow or how come that AI is not so good? Uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to that, but uh, it's still amazing technology. It's lots of fun to work with. I am worried because if it's too much of it, then you, there might be unemployment for a lot of people, you know because machines will be doing the work instead of the people. For me, it's not that scary. I mean, I kind of grew up in social media and, and all of that kind of stuff. I'm very worried about killer robots, just generally like the whole drone industry. Things like deep fakes scare me a lot. I would say human extinction. <laughs> so the risks that are happening right now are AI systems that perform in unintended ways uh, partly because of careless design. So, for example, uh, you can train machine learning systems to uh, filter resumes, and they will often uh, filter out the resumes of women uh, for a tech job, for example. We're also seeing risks from social media algorithms, the recommender systems that fill your newsfeed or your YouTube video sequence that are learning how to manipulate people over time to change people into more predictable consumers of whatever material they can supply. Uh, in the longer term, we're most concerned about the risk of losing control that will build AI systems that are pursuing incorrectly specified objectives that then prevent us from interfering uh, with that pursuit, so we end up losing control to the machines. The biggest risk is, is that we stop to be able to bear responsibility because you are using instruments and tools that we don't understand. And if people ask us, what have you done? That uh, we cannot answer that question uh, satisfactorily. We need to put the brakes on a little bit, slow down and like talk about it and think about, have these discussions, what might happen. Many people are uh, moving the potential date for general purpose intelligence closer to the present than they were before. And I think some people are even talking about the next five years. We're not going to have sentient AI. Uh, you know, this is part of the hype, right? And so that'll probably disappoint some people. I'm sure there'll be some people that disagree with me on that one. So far, history is on my side. And no, this are just machines at the end of the day. They're programmed by people, for people. So the holy grail is explainable AI. So how can we human beings understand what is happening inside? How can we bear responsibility for the outcomes uh, while at the same time using those powerful machines? <laughs>